Good evening. One of WA's biggest public events has been cancelled over coronavirus fears. Organisers of the HBF Run for a Reason have spoken exclusively to Nine News to insist it's simply not worth the risk to the tens of thousands who attend. It's Perth's biggest mass participation event. More than 30,000 people coming together to run for a reason. And it's the biggest casualty of coronavirus cancellations in WA so far. The reason? It's unusually conservative measures, but we think doing the right thing with the risks of corona and being a health-based organisation as well, it's the right time now. HBF making the drastic decision today. It was with a really heavy heart that we decide to take some caution, but appropriate caution to cancel the event. Despite the Premier calling for calm. We don't have sustained community spread, but if we get sustained community spread, then we'll, then we'll need to look at some of those initiatives. HBF CEO John Van Der Willen says with the event scheduled for May, when authorities expect community spread to peak in WA, cancelling was the responsible decision. And he says WA's largest insurer needs to be focused on the coming health battle against the virus. We have over a 1,000 employees and hundreds of our staff volunteer for this event. So my first priority is keeping the HBF offices open, looking after people's claims when they need to make a claim for health. The state government preparing for more events to be cancelled. That will obviously depend on the nature of the gathering. If it's indoor, it's outdoors. What the activity is, does it involve food, for instance? So what happens now? Well, HBF says it's considering postponing the event, perhaps a spring run. There'd be 35 to 40,000 people drinking water bottles in a run in a close corral when you start this event. So it's probably deemed as a higher risk event. All charities involved will receive the money owed to them and those who've already registered and paid will get a full refund. HBF Fitness in the Park sessions have also been cancelled. Jerry DeMassey, Nine News. And the AFL could be next. Tonight we have exclusive details on discussions at the highest levels inside the football world. Dockers legend and Nine Sports presenter Matthew Pavlich has been investigating. Pav, the situation could be much more serious than first thought. Yeah, it could be, Tomo. You're right. I've spoken to a number of people across the league today and they say while the AFL season will go ahead, if there is an escalation in this coronavirus, if there's a ban on mass gatherings, then there is the distinct possibility that AFL games may be cancelled. OK, when does the league make that call? Well, I think they'll take the advice, of course, from the health authorities and the government that uh, if there is a ban on those mass gatherings, then they'll say, well, we're going to have to uh, compact the AFL season. The example I've been given is if a team was affected by this, if players became ill, then there may be the possibility where uh, a number of games, call it five, six, seven or eight, would be compressed into a shorter period of time, say over two or three weeks, which would be extraordinary. Something we've never seen before in football. How are the fans going to react to this? Well, hopefully in a good way. I think if you're, if you're of good health, then go to the footy, support your team, get along there, barrack with all your heart. Um, but, of course, be extra vigilant with your personal hygiene. Uh, don't go if you're sick. But, of course, make sure you're there. Support the AFL, support your team and support your favourite players. Pav, thank you.